And judges Lommers and Heisner have made their decisions in the junior two-year-old cow class for the Guernsey Show. In third place overall in our second place junior, number 2690, Knapps Kojak Tambor DT, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Our second place finisher, number 2686, Knapp Spider, Bank on Me ET, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. And our junior first place winner, junior bred and owned winner, overall bred and owned winner, best utter winner, and first place overall in the class, number 2681, Adams Creek AP Beyond ETV, Alyssa Noodleman, Bangor, Wisconsin. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Lommers, your comments, please. Well, really a nice group of junior twos out here in your class today, but that being said, quite a handy winner. A cow, you just love the mammary system too. You get behind her, you love the height and width of utter. Uh, the capacity of her udder, the beautiful rib, dairy strength that this cow possesses, and it's at those advantages that gets her over our cow in second. When you get behind her, she's higher and wider at the top of the rear udder. She's more balanced from the left to the right side of the mammary system, and she's got a little more drop to that rear rib than the beautiful framed cow here in second. The second cow catches your eye when she hits the ring. She's got tremendous ring presence. You love the length of frame, the style and balance that this cow has, and that's the advantage that she has over our cow in third. She's much longer from her nose to her withers. She's longer through the midsection. In addition, she's shown me a little more quality and veination about that rear udder today than our Futurity winner here in third. Third over fourth, again, just on the way she handles those feet and legs. She moves about the ring a little more comfortably on those rear legs. I love the depth and openness of rib. Then another beautiful uttered cow coming out in here in fourth. Fourth over fifth, again, it's on the snugness of her attachments, the way she carries her udder a little higher above the uh, hawk today than the big framey cow we have here in fifth. It's that advantage in her frame and her size and scale and width and power that gets our fifth cow over our cow in sixth. She's got more width through the muzzle, more width through the chest, and a, a longer-bodied individual than another beautiful uttered young cow coming out in six. The sixth cow, uh, you love the height and width, the quality of udder that this cow has, and it's those advantages that gets her over our cow in seventh. Congratulations.